What's up everybody? Rowdy Riles here with another review. Today we've got Hasbro Black Series Moloch. Let's flip him over and oh wait, there's something behind him. We've got two more figures to review as well. We've got R5P8 from the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge at Target exclusive. Did not pay that price for him. And we've got Constable Zuvio from The Force Awakens way back in 2015. Um, there's the back of that one if you want to see. Um, yeah, so we're going to go over three figures in this video. Not one, not two, but three because I've been hoarding these to do a big review because they're not really that big of characters, so there's not too much cool about them. But the more the merrier, I say. So here's Moloch by himself, the front of the box. Uh, he's got a couple of accessories. You can see he was clearance, but still not the price they paid for him. I paid even less on eBay, so that's cool. There's the back of the box if you want to read it. It's super long, but you can pause the video right there. Uh, one more time, here's the back of the box for Constable Zuvio if you want to read it. And then here is the back of the box for R5P8 if you want to read it. Go ahead and pause the video. All that being said, let's get these bad boys open. Alright, so we've got them all out of the box. Constable Zuvio, Moloch, and R5P8. So let's go over the articulation and the accessories for Moloch. So he comes with this staff, first of all, in his arm, which we've got bucked down. Not too much. There's no butterfly joint, I don't think, but the staff, you know, it comes out. He's got a little gun that goes in and out of the holster. Pretty nifty. Um, no leg articulation because he's a big old worm dude. Uh other arm does that this is the cool part his mask comes off and you've got his face down there so that's really cool and yeah there's not really much articulation on this guy other than his arms and a little bit on his head so that is Moloch So here we've got Constable Zuvio with his first accessory in his hand. Let's go over the articulation. Up, down, not much on there. No butterfly joint. You can't go behind his head with that arm. Same range of motion with that. His other accessory I've already put on is a backpack. It pegs in at the back with these little slots for everything else, which is pretty nifty so it won't ever fall off. On his legs, we actually have double knees. so. This actually gets in the way of articulation, so he can't kick his own butt. But it would be cool if he could. In theory, he can. Um, head actually has a little bit more movement than uh, Moloch. The cool thing with the aliens is they're unique and they're different, but you know, then you get to sculpting it and making the character, and there's not much articulation there just because of the way the aliens are designed. But either way, they're cool figures. This guy popped up in Mandalorian. He was originally meant for The Force Awakens. He had a bigger role, but it got cut. So that is Constable Zuvio. Last but not least, we've got R5P8. Um, pretty basic as far as the droids go. You know they're all pretty similar if you collect Black Series. They all have this little leg that comes up and down when you spin their head. They all have these little compartments in the front that open up with little gadgets. Um, the cool thing about R5P8 is he's Hondo Anaka's droid. If you watch Clone Wars and Rebels, then you know who that is. Um, yeah, he's, he's a little droid with some attitude. He has a little blaster that comes out of his head in the shows, but they didn't include that because it's Hasbro. Um, but yeah, that's R5P8. The, not much articulation on these guys, just legs with a little pivot on their feet course the head moves for that bottom one and there's a little bit of articulation on that um I'm glad I didn't pay full price for him it's it's, it's good because you really don't want to pay $24 for just this but I paid less than that so I'm happy and I'm happy to add him to my collection so there you have it guys my mega black series extravaganza review of these three characters um I figured I'd put them all together because they're side characters. There's not, you know, a lot about them. They're not really well known. They're just, you know, background characters for your shelf. So I was waiting for a bunch of them because I didn't want to dedicate one review to one of them. So I was like, let's do them all together. So 
thanks for watching guys um i appreciate the views uh like and subscribe for more content uh it's always coming as you see uh and thank you for watching and i'll see you next time Bye bye